afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name's Roy Brinkley. Uh, I served in the Grenadier Guards. And a story that um, is about at the moment is about those 13 young um, US uh, soldiers and Marines and Navy personnel that was blown up in Afghanistan. It absolutely, you know, balls my piss when George Floyd gets more mentions and has got more mentions, more people on the streets about him dying. And don't get me wrong, the way the police killed him, yeah, the police did kill him. He was a bad guy, but nobody deserves to be killed like uh, the police killed him. That's without without question at all. But he was a bad guy. And, you know, bad things happen to bad people. But bad things happen to good people as well. And that's what I would quickly talk about, these 13 United States servicemen and women. Two were women. I saw Biden waiting for them with his, did you all see him with his hand on his heart like this? But at the same time, looking at his clock, his watch rather, to see how long he had to go to hang around. That's what it felt like to me. He was doing it, it, it was there, he had to hang around till it was over with. What I want to do quickly, which the US are putting a block on quite heavily, or they're not talking about it, is just read out their names and their ages. Just bear with me. I need need these. P pronunciations of names I'm not great at, but please bear with me. Marine Lance Corporal Marola, aged 20. Marine Lance Corporal Nikio, age 20. United States Marine Corps again, Sergeant Picardo. She was 25. Yes, she was 25. United States Marine Corps Corporal Sanchez, 22. Marine Lance Corporal Schmidt, age 20. Navy Corpsman Suzak, 22. United States Marine Corps, page 23. United States Marine Corps, Lance Corporal David Esponia, age 20. Marine Sergeant Nicola G. Lady, 23. She was a lady that was pictured, if you remember, holding a little Afghan baby in her arms about a week before they blew her up. Army Staff Sergeant Hoover, 31. He's the oldest that was killed on that day, 31 years of age. Army Staff Sergeant Naus, 23, a staff sergeant at 23. And when I looked at him, he had a chest full of medals at the age of 23. Marine Corporal Lopez, 22. And last but not least, Marine Lance Corporal McCullum, age 20. Unbelievable. Their ages, all below the age of 31. Hardly a mention in the states of their names and what they went through on that day. We'll never know. I'll never know. Um, just unbelievable. Yet, the unfortunate killing of George Floyd, you know, there's books, there's a monument or memorial, I should say, in Manchester. In Manchester. Where's 
Where's our Fallen's memorial? There must be one somewhere in Manchester. Doesn't get much of a mention. Somebody will tell me there's a nice one there somewhere, I'm sure. But a George Floyd memorial? Oh, God, give me strength. Guys, I don't know what else to say. I look at them young faces, am I? Ah, uh, it, it just makes me cry. Poor young people, wasted by a, a president that doesn't care a uh, crap about them. That's all I'm saying today. Um, before I get myself into trouble by saying the wrong thing. But God bless them all. May they all, they all rest in peace.